Hey everyone, good afternoon. Um, it's Saturday, June 4th. I'm just sitting here like, and I was thinking like, what can I do to uplift the collective? So I have been telling all types of people to make a self love jar here recently. And spirit came through and really gave me a ritual for making this self love jar. So um, welcome. We are gonna go ahead and make a self love jar today. My name is Lisa Kidd, and I'm the owner of Glamteque Studio. It's an online as all well as meta uh, in person metaphysical boutique. This is gonna be a real quick video, okay? One thing that you're gonna need is a tea light candle. My fan is on right now, so hopefully it doesn't blow out. Okay, my ceiling fan is on. But you're gonna want one tea light candle. I always use one candle to communicate with spirit. Another thing you're gonna need is a glass of spring water, okay? Don't use distilled, um, don't have anything in it for you. Spring water, spring water is really good for you and to use for you spiritually. You're also going to need just a jar, a simple jar. I picked this little jar up at Dollar Tree um, for $1.25 or you can get, like I said, or an old pasta jar, anything, right? So just a jar. You're gonna wanna wash it, of course. Um, then you're going to need something that you're going to cleanse your jar with. Um, I'm going to use Palo Santo today, but if you don't like to use smoke to cleanse, you can use, well, you can use incense, smoke to cleanse. Also, um, you can use ritualistic spray or cleansers. I sell this at my boutique and you can find it pretty much anywhere. Or something like Florida water also cleanses. You can put it on a clean cloth and uh, just use it to wipe the glass because glass holds energy, right? So you just want to clean any energies that might have been on there before you became the owner. Okay, because this whole thing is about setting intention uh, and, you know, at the end of the day, making a way to make ourselves feel good. Like when we're feeling down, sometimes when you're feeling down and there's like nobody around and you don't have anyone to lift you up, that's what this is for. Okay. Um, yeah, that's what this is for. So you're going to just sit still, get you a nice quiet time. You might want to play you some affirmation music or Play you something in the background, some uh, heart chakra frequency music, something like that of that nature will be really good to go along with this. Like I said, you're going to light your candle for spirit. You also want to get you a pencil. Um, I use pencils with no eraser. And the reason is, is because you want everything that you write to be very intentional. It should be very thought provoked and you don't want to go back on your word. Okay, so... You're going to get you a real pencil that's a pencil with no eraser you also want to get you some real paper um and who do we tend to use what we have right so we're not gonna um real parchment paper was normally too expensive so we use like um like parchment paper like that you cook with or you can also use brown paper bag okay and you don't want to cut it you want to tear Okay, so that's real paper, real pencil. You don't want to cut it. And who do we normally tear our papers into? Like either triangles or squares or rectangles. I'm going to be uh, tearing these into squares. So you just want to pretty much tear it into a square. I mean, it don't have to be perfect, you guys. Like, we're human. You don't have scissors, right? So just be as perfect as you can. <laughs> okay. I'm just going to do this to show you guys. So I'm not really going to do a bunch, but there we go. So you want to do some squares. I'm going to set that aside. Tear your paper into squares. Let's see. All right, now that you got all your squares, let's set those aside. Let's go ahead and cleanse our jar. Like I said, remember, we're just cleansing this from any negative intention or anyone because shit, the people that made your glass might have been having a bad day. And like I said, glass is natural. Glass holds energy. So maybe they were having a bad day, right? And that energy is trapped in your jar now and you've brought it home with you. This is why I tell it like, well, cleanse everything you get pretty much. I do now, you know, um, that's why I've made like the house cleansers, cleansers and stuff like that because I can dump a little bit into my sink water and cleanse that type of stuff, you know. 
but you just want to take your smoke and you're going to just smudge the glass and ask for spirits to remove any negative energies, right? We just want to set that intent. Smoke that out because we want this to hold all good vibrations, okay? Ask spirit to bring in the good vibes for you. You can start setting your intentions with the glass. Because like I said, glass holds energy. So start speaking your intentions into that glass. Asking spirit to bring in the good energies for you. To remove anything negative, right? To keep this jar safe and protected and only in high vibes. Okay, you can say a scripture or anything, right? Spirit, allow only good spirits to enter into this jar and to live here so that I can have feel good vibes, you know, whatever the hell you want to say. I normally just go off the top of my heart, top of my mind. So that's one way. That's how you want to cleanse that. Make sure you get the lid. This stuff is from my shop from downstairs, so it's already been cleansed, but just you guys get the hint, right? So you want to go ahead and cleanse. And like I said, you can also just use the Palo Santo. If you don't want to use the smoke, you can use like Florida water, I mean, or something and just wipe the jar down itself, okay? After you get that, you really want to sit with your intent and think about the things that you want to put on your pieces of paper. So on your pieces of paper, we're going to be adding things such as, um, I don't know, whatever makes you feel happy, okay? Go back to the second grade to accomplishments, accomplishments that you may have had in the second grade that made you feel good. Oh, I won the spelling bee. Okay, if you're someone that doesn't really think highly of yourself, I think I'm beautiful. I'm perfect just the way I am. Okay, I don't do my rituals in public, so I'm not going to write anything on here <laughs> but right now. Um, a favorite movie that you might have, right? So it could be like a reminder to go watch. A funny joke someone might have told you. A, a great song that you like to get up and dance to that just changes your vibe whenever you hear it automatically it changes your vibe so what you're gonna do is you're gonna write let's see we'll, we'll do one I am perfect okay so we're gonna I am perfect we're gonna this is when we're gonna use our oil so you don't need a lot of oil just a, some type of attraction oil. It could be attraction oil, come to me oil, bend over oil, something like that. That's going to command, okay, your, uh, your petition, your love. So what you're going to do is you're going to anoint the four corners of your petition. And you're going to fold it towards you because we want to bring that energy in, okay? This is something that we want to bring in. So we're going to fold it towards us. I'm going to do, Spirit told me four times. So let me see. That was one two three four okay so we're gonna fold that towards us and we're gonna drop it in our self-love jar with the intent to give me self-love every time you drop it into the water i mean into the jar you want to blow into your water okay just simply blow into your water blow that life into your water as well this is going to set kind of an intention and a bind between you and your jar, okay? So we're going to do another one. Um, I'm going to write my favorite movie, Eat, Love, Pray. Okay? And once again, we're going to just take a little bit of oil and anoint the four corners of our petition and fold it into us four times. One, two, three, four with the intent to make me smile. So every time we put it in the jar, we wanna add a intent and we're gonna blow a breath of life into our water. Mm. Don't worry, be happy. That just popped in my head. That's one of those songs that even if you hate it, it makes you smile, right? You gotta be a real sourpuss not to smile if you hear that song, so. We're going to anoint our paper again and fold it in. You are to uplift me. Just simple. You can my children, right? Your child, my child. And once again, anoint the, four, anoint the four corners. You don't need a lot of oil, just a little. 
and fold it into you. With the intent to bring me joy. All right, at the end of your ritual, what you're gonna do is drink your water. You're gonna drink your self-love water that's binding you to your, your self-love jar, okay? You wanna just sit and when you sit with it, imagine all of those things that you put in going into your body, okay? You'll also wanna just cover your jar and now keep that in a nice safe place, okay? You might wanna keep it on your altar if you have one so your ancestors can keep it safe and full of love for you. Um, possibly in your bedroom, uh, something like that. But you wanna keep it in an energetically safe place because this is charged with your self-love intentions. Then whenever you're having a bad day or just things aren't going right or you just need a quick pick-me-up, you grab your jar. And I want you to sit still intentionally you won't need any of the rest. If you have time, go ahead, you know, but sometimes when you're in those moments when you just need that urgent help, you don't have time to light you a candle. Look, the candle went out. <laughs> I figured it would. Spirit says, sometimes you don't have the time. So don't worry about it, right? It is true. Sometimes you won't have the time to light a candle, you know, but try to get you a glass of water and sit with your self-love jar and pull, okay? And, and just pull. And if the first one doesn't make you happy, just keep pulling. Keep pulling until you smile or until you get to a movie. Turn the movie on, watch it. If your vibe's still not uplifted by the time you get to the end with the end of the movie, keep pulling. It's going to work. Some issues are a little bit um, need a little bit more strength or time or patience or rest than others, right? And when you feel good, then you know you put your jar aside, drink your water, okay? I hope that helped you. Enjoy.